Yes, it has been 10 long years that this revolutionary breakthrough has been creating a buzz all over. That's right, in the 10 years since the CRISPR technology has been developed, it has begun to deliver on its unlimited potential which will help in improving the quality of human life. Over the last three years, the gene editing technology with near unlimited potential has produced flawless results in clinical trials. The technology enables a simple but remarkably efficient way to edit the genetic codes of living organisms, thus opening up the possibility of correcting genetic information to cure diseases, prevent physical deformities or to even produce cosmetic enhancements. Today by Technicans, I'm going to take you through some highlights of this revolutionary technology. To start with, the CRISPR technology, which is called as the Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, which was unveiled back in 2012. It's a technology that can be used to edit the genes. The name of the technique refers to the clustered and repetitive sequences of DNA found in bacteria whose natural mechanism to fight some viral diseases is replicated in this genome editing tool. Gene editing, also known as genome editing or gene editing, it's a type of genetic engineering in which DNA deoxyribonucleic acid in the genome of a living organism is either inserted, deleted, modified or even replaced. Pioneer scientists Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier, the creators of this technology, were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2020. Moving on to the principle. CRISPR-Cas technology behaves like a cut and paste mechanism on DNA strands that contain genetic information. The specific location of the genetic codes that need to be changed, edited, is identified on the DNA strand and then using the Cas9 protein, which acts like a pair of scissors, that location is cut off from the strand. A DNA strand when broken has a natural tendency to repair itself. Scientists intervene during this auto repair process supplying the desired sequence of genetic codes that binds itself with the broken DNA strand. It is like cutting out the damaged part of a long zipper and replacing it with a normally functioning part. So how does exactly CRISPR work? Specific RNA molecules are programmed. Using the CRISPR technology, the first task, as I mentioned, is to search for a precise location in the target DNA. This particular sequence of genes may be the cause of the trouble for some disorder or symptom that might be occurring in the subject. Now the molecular scissors remove the disease-causing agents. For this, a special type of RNA is programmed to locate this sequence on the DNA strand, just how as we use find or search function on a computer. After this, the Cas9 protein, which is often described as genetic scissors, is used to break the DNA strand at specific points and remove those bad sequence that was causing the disease or the disorder. That's it. After that, a new custom sequence can be added when the DNA is repaired. What about the significance of this process? Why is it so important? Well, there are ways to edit the genomes of some plants, particularly in the field of agriculture and animals even before the CRISPR method. But it took years and cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. CRISPR has made it cheap and simple. The tools used to achieve this are not mechanical, they are biochemical, which consists of specific protein and RNA molecules. Hence CRISPR technology is far more accurate and it does not involve the introduction of any new gene from the outside. So what potentials CRISPR has to offer? Well, it has many potential applications. 
So as you can see in drug development, animal models, genetic variation, material synthesis, food for genetically modified crops, fuel production, and even gene therapy. So as you can see, correcting genetic defects, treating and preventing the spread of diseases, and even improving the growth and resilience of crops. CRISPR can do it all. A vast number of diseases and disorders are genetic in nature. These include common blood disorders like sickle cell anemia, color blindness, cancer, diabetes, HIV, liver and heart diseases. Many of these diseases are hereditary as well. The CRISPR technology opens up the possibility of finding a permanent cure to many of these diseases. This can also cure deformities arising out of abnormalities in gene sequence like stunted or slow growth, speech disorders or inability to stand or walk. Well, we do have some interesting success stories for CRISPR. In health, several therapeutic interventions using CRISPR for diseases like thalassemia or sickle cell anemia have gone into clinical trials. An American national, Victoria Gray, suffering from sickle cell anemia, is now considered cured of the disease using CRISPR technology. In India, scientists at CSIR's Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology have indigenously developed a CRISPR-based therapeutic solution for sickle cell anemia and it is being rated for clinical trials. In agriculture, Japan approved commercial cultivation of a tomato variety which has been improved using CRISPR-based intervention. In India, several CRISPR research groups work, are working on crops like rice and banana and they are making enhancements for various types of crops. But as of any process, there are a few challenges as well. The entire process is programmable and has remarkable efficiency, though chances of error are not entirely ruled out. Because CRISPR has the potential to cause dramatic changes in an individual, scientists has warned of the technology's misuse. There are some ethical concerns also, which has been reported in an incident. Back in 2018, a Chinese researcher disclosed that he had altered the genes of a human embryo to prevent the infection of HIV. This was the first documented case of creating a designer baby. This has caused widespread concern in the scientific community because preventive interventions to obtain special traits are not something that scientists currently want the technology to be used for. Second. Changes in genetic sequences caused by therapeutic in interventions remain with the individual and are not passed into the offspring. But the changes were made in the embryo itself, which means the newly acquired traits were likely to be passed to future generations. CRISPR is not 100% precise and could induce a few errors as well, making changes in other genes. This has the possibility of being inherited and passed on into successive generations. Well, that was in a nutshell. Now, if you want to know more about it, there's a good news. Biotechnica presents the CRISPR internship. Very specially designed 14 sessions are segregated into four modules. The first one deals with foundations of CRISPR-Cas. Second will tell you all about the basic principles which molecules are involved, the structural aspects of this technology. Third, we'll deal with all the current applications which are going around through this research, through this technology in research. And fourth module discusses about the future aspects, challenges, ethical concerns, etc. But this is starting on October 14th and the bad news is we have limited seats. So if you want to be a part of it, you have to hurry and enroll now. This will also include live virtual internship, the demo sessions, assignments, expert guidance, and not to forget a hard copy certificate. What else can you want? So biotechnicians, hurry up and enroll for the CRISPR 
course technology today and get to know all details of this wonderful technology. Thank you everyone. Let me know in the comment section which aspect of CRISPR-Cas really fascinates you the most.